It's a really good question. Uh, cross contamination, yes, but not of anything in the room. My lung is in my eye. What we're protecting against is this. So this is mealworm frass. See how dusty that is? Watch that over here. See how it plumes out, right? That's what we're protecting against. Uh, so in this room here, it becomes a dusty environment. And there's a few different ways we mitigate that. There's an exhaust fan right here uh, that turns on every so often to help ventilate air, pull in fresh oxygen. I'll also turn that on if the particulates get too high because I have this handy dandy sensor right there. So the particulates right now, the fan's been running, so the particulates are pretty low. Uh, CO2 is pretty low. But before a fresh exchange of air, that frass dust just gets up in the air everywhere. Uh, it'll land on things, like it's not gonna stay in the air constantly, it will land. Uh, but I exhaust it out so that it clears that out. But we're always wearing this full face respirator to protect lungs, eyes, face, etc. Uh, because frass is an allergen. If you don't have allergies, you will develop allergies with enough consistent time, uh, exposure, and frequency uh, to the mealworm frass. For me personally, it actually triggers my asthma. So I have allergy-induced asthma. I had it before I started doing all this fun stuff. Uh, and so I quickly realized what was going on, found this solution, and been using it ever since. If you're going to raise mealworms, wear a mask.